Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARG, where today we are going after three more artifacts. We're going after the Artifact of the Hunter, Massive and Strong, which are all over on the Lava Island. So yeah, we're going to hop right into this. I finally did get me a good Ascendant Shotgun, so yeah. We're going to quickly drop everything that I don't need in my inventory off, hop on Pterodon, and head over there to the first cave. Okay, so the first cave here is the Oasis Cave, which I'm pretty sure is right there. I might be wrong. So what we're going to do here is we're going to land over here. We're going to cryopod up Pterodon, and we're just going to pop out the Pyromane right away. And we're going to clear the entrance, so... We're going to start with this level 90 Pyromane. Fortunately, we are mostly evenly matched. Not much that two pyromanes can do against each other. And it just all depends. Well, we weren't evenly matched. They're evenly, like, you know, they're not going to be able to gain fire off of each other. You know, they got equal immunities, but the one that's going to win is the one with the most damage. So, Also, I think this is a good time to tell you guys, a lot of, and I mean... A huge, huge, huge amount of the center's caves I've never explored. Now, the lava cave, the big one, the, you know, the common one, is probably about the only one I've explored. I think I've been in this one once, back when I played PvP on the center. That was a long time ago, alright? That was when I first started playing Ark. And I'm pretty sure this cave is getting too small for us. So we'll pop out the shoddy. And reload it. Uh-oh. 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 Let's go pyro. We're just going to start stealing flames off of things in here. So, I really have no clue where I'm going. Which could probably be a good thing, a bad thing, or whatever you guys think it is. I personally have no clue what to do in here. It's kind of like truly let's just explore the cave for me today. That's what it's going to be like for both the caves. Now, that also means that we are going to get a bit of a longer episode out of this, luckily. Oh, no, 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 please don't fall in the water. Come on. Oh, there's a snake. Wait, did that suck the snake back up or did it pull itself up? Oh, I hit fire trail, that's why. even are we I didn't think this portion like had a water section at all damn uh that looks like a huge water section or at least an entrance to an underground Come on, die. Okay, we're gonna boost here. Okay, we're gonna stop the boost. Um, You know what? Let's not worry about that just quite yet. Let's head back, because I'm pretty sure this forked in multiple directions. Correct. So that's one way. I'm pretty sure that back there is the entrance. So what's over this way? Okay. 
Pyromane is actually really good for caving. I'm not going to lie. I guess shrinking down as well makes it really, really good. Because you can basically take it anywhere. Ew, stutter. And if you uh, ever get stuck, you can always just shoulder him up. Problem is, though, is that if you hit water, his flames are extinguished. And that appears to be all that this cave is filled with. Is there anything up here, like a secret entrance? No, that's what I was thinking was going to be in there. Oh, I just landed straight in the water. Come on, come on. Reignite. There we go. See how much damage... Like, he gets so much armor just from the... The flame alone. Okay, we gotta touch the water there and run over here. Ooh, we got two spiders, too. Okay. What's that sound? Is that you, buddy? Okay. I don't know what that was, but I feel like this cave just looped around. I know I'm looking for the artifact of the hunter. I know what that looks like. Um. Oh, it's right there. I messed up bad. On that jump. I can fix this, though. Oh, there's a path. There we go. But that got us up here quick. Let's get these guys all cleared out. Oh, you just broke my pants. How is my armor actually doing? My armor oh it's good my pants were just probably one of the worst pieces I had okay now moment of truth because I updated my stuff yes I did also you may notice that we got a lot less element now I dropped it from 1 to 20 element uh, per oh hold up we got a bunch of silica pearls I'm gonna grab me some silica pearls before we leave and then we're gonna move over to the next cave but what I did was I went and uh, I was getting ready to do my settings video or just making sure I had things in order. And I finally got around to updating my drops. So uh, now the manticore and all that, like the scorched earth drops and the center drops, they should all be updated. The only thing I couldn't update was the drop for the artifact of the devious. That's because the beacon doesn't have that supported yet. And I also found out something. Um, the artifact of the Devious does not have a trophy model. You know where you can have it displayed? It doesn't have one of those. Am I actually navigating this without touching water? Damn. I guess that's a good thing to know. That it is possible to navigate without touching the water. You just gotta be very, 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 very careful. So, boom, we're in, and I hang a left here, and now we are back out, if I'm correct. I just gotta, you know, ooh, no pants. Just gotta run back out now. Yep, and we're out. And now on to the next cave, if I can find it. Because I've heard that the entrance for this one is a little bit more tricky now. I think this is it right here. I'm not 100% sure. This cave has been tricky, 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 tricky to find. Now, I'm going to make sure I have everything ready to go before we go in. Such as making sure that's equipped. I'm going to drop everything here that I don't need, which is the berries. We're going to top off our food, and we're going to take a drink of water. Because this is the cave. Here we go. Now, if you're wondering what the coordinates are... Uh, latitude 15, longitude 61.3. And here we are. Now, I'm going to land right here because I don't want to fly through this cave. I kind of want to uh, parkour a bit with the shadow main. Now, if we lose this guy, I'm sorry. But again, I still do need names for him in the comments, so please do drop a name. 
Hopefully it, we don't lose him. And the closest that we come is just to a scare. So. That's a little ways down. Okay, we're here. Um, does not look like the floor is lava like I thought it was. So we're gonna jump and we're gonna dash over to here. Make sure we do get caught on the ledge, just in case. But, okay, we're at the bottom. Now where do I go? Okay, so we're technically not even to the split yet. Oh, there's creatures here, though. Protect yourself! A lot of snakes. I don't like snakes. I'll tell you that much. So I was told to take a right and head up this ramp. And it should bring me to the fork. Now, to the left is one artifact, and to the right is the other artifact. Uh, I just kind of, like, watched my video a bit here. Now I'm going to figure out which artifact is on what side, and then we're just going to kind of go adventuring. But I'd like to at least know what artifacts I'm looking for on what side, you know? Also, it feels weird being in this underworld. Okay. Okay. And then we go up here, and this right here is the fork, so it's to the left or to the right. Okay, I guess we're going to go after the artifact of the strong here first, and it is down this path. And I was told just to kind of follow it here, and it should take me to a bit of an opening. I mean, I'm kind of running past things as well, so if that is bugging people, deal with it. Um, I believe I took a wrong turn here, didn't I? Somewhere. Oh, yep, then we go down. And then in here, right? Am I correct? It's hard to tell because it's gotten foggy. I'm like stuck on that tree, damn. I've gotten real foggy. Oh, no. I'm stuck on a ledge. I hate the webbing, too. I'm gonna end that. We are still webbed. Okay. I'm gonna just do a tiny bit more figuring out if this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, this is the right place to go. So this is the next ramp I'm supposed to go up right here. And I'm just supposed to follow this corridor through to the end. And then I get to the end. There's going to be some foliage in this room back here. And hidden somewhere in that foliage is the artifact. So it's on the far side of the room from here. So we got to like loop all the way around. Luckily, we got one of the pyromains, which, again, if you guys do have these, I highly suggest best way to get one is level up, get you a good flyer, target mostly, like, purple and up artifact containers, and try and get you a good shotgun, get you some shotgun ammo, and, uh, now, I did figure this out. You can actually collect wild raptors, drop them in a pen, and then you could build... Well, you can build a trap, technically, for a pyromane, and then in front of it, you build a separate, like, drop trap where you drop a bunch of raptors in, and what you do is you can then just kind of do the math on, like, what level of raptor you need and how many of them you're going to need, or even, like, how many carnos or scorpions... Technically, just build a bait, like a feeding box for him, and fill it up. And then, once you get ready to go tame your pyromane, or once it starts raining, that's when you're ready to tame your pyromane. And then, uh, 
Once he's doused, shoot him with his shotgun, let him roar, hop on. Uh, open up that feeding box and let him feed. That's my like that's what I the, that's what I have for you guys on how to the simplify the pyro main taming. I mean, both mine I did just kind of out on the wild on the desert or not the desert. The it's no longer the you know volcanic desert island it used to be, but out on the volcanic island here. Um, I feel like it's back in here. Yep, I see the artifact. Now, I kind of feel like I watched the video here way too much on figuring out where the artifact is. And that's just because, again, I'm sorry. I'm not used to uh, the center caves at all. I've, like, seriously, like, very, very rarely done any of the caves. Most of what I did was the PvP, and I uh, mostly farmed metal and got shot at. There we go. We got, what is it? Artifact of the Strong. And we also got some... Damn boats! Are so fucking expensive! Look at it. It's like 30... 40k metal for those boots? The armor on them, though. I'm like, yeah. They're probably trash. I should probably toss them. But my drops now for tech armor go from 1% quality, so absolute trash, to god tier. But god tier means expensive. Is there any, like, uh, catch it? Like, you know, um, what are the, not catches, uh, artifact crates back here? Also, I can't run through this place. Damn. Like, just so much. There's snakes everywhere. Why are there so many trees? We're going to run back to the fork and kind of uh, figure out how to get out. Or not really get out. Get the next artifact and then get out. Okay, so I believe I am back in the fork in the road. And so what I'm going to do here is we're going to go over to this area. And uh, I'm kind of starting to remember what this one is. Because this is one of the caves I w did do. Because this was the parkour cave, if I recall. Okay, that got everything. Um, I can't see a thing because of the fog. I've been thinking about actually turning that off as well. Just also for some stability. And so that way my game looks better. Um, oh, Wait, is that... Oh, artifact container. I don't think we're fully into this part of the cave just yet. But I know we can get some decent artifacts. Okay, we got all that. What is in you? Not bad. Also, you are set to... Neutral, right? There we go. So that way... Yeah. I was testing him out on uh, shoulder pet wise. And uh, it's kind of a flamethrower. Also, that's not where I'm supposed to go, is it? I feel like... I'm near where I'm supposed to be, but not quite. You know? Like, as in, it's not over here. Or maybe is it? Because I see some runes back here. Is it back here? I'm going to look up how to turn off volumetric fog. Okay. I have figured out how to disable volumetric fog, and it has helped so much. We're going to keep volumetric clouds, because, again, I love those. It's just the fog sucks. Volumetric fog is the worst. 
because it also causes like so much, so much uh, lag. And it's been something I've been wanting to turn off here for a hot minute. But now that we're on like the center, it's like a must have. And honestly, the game looks a lot better with it turned off. Like we can see further. I mean, I can actually see where like what's around me. And I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to be. Because this is like Temple of Doom looking. And no, yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. This is the artifact of the massive, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess this was also probably the wrong cave then. Because I thought that this was supposed to be a jumping puzzle cave. Or did I miss the jumping puzzle? I might have uh, misthought what this cave was. That jumping puzzle cave is probably a different one. Is there anything down there? That probably like scared a bunch of people when I did that. Huh. Is there anything? This is, this goes deeper. Not as deep as I thought it did. Anything? Or is this just like a little other area back in here? Oh, okay, so it just takes me back up top. It loops, loops all the way around. Like that. There's that staircase, huh? Maybe it doesn't loop all the way around. Maybe I just missed it. But I'm going to try and figure out now how to get out of this lava cave. And yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. I got my three artifacts. So if you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, do remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can see when I uh, post videos. Also, I am running a channel membership goal, so we are currently trying to reach 10 active YouTube channel members. Currently have two. It's $1.99 to join, and once we hit that goal, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. So yeah. Anyways, this has been Gunshot Moray, signing off. Peace.